layers, and splits. Let's go. Hello YouTube, welcome to another video on how to use the MOX F8 for blind users. My name is Daryl Dawes, I'm your blind musician friend. And today we're talking about uh, layers and splits and how to save them. Okay, so, um, in creating a split or a layer, you're gonna wanna pick the sound that you're gonna layer um, with, with. If it's a piano, then you pick a piano, right? Um, <clears throat> for those of you, uh, for those of you that are new to my uh, videos, um, in the first couple of videos, there are uh, they are uh, purposely made to show you how to get around on the MLX F8. So all the buttons and whatnot, uh, where they're located and what they're called. Um, I also mentioned my click method. So um, that's what that's what we're going to use today in um, in uh, layers and splits. Okay, so. Let's start with layers, since that's the first button that we're going to come across. And uh, for those that don't know where that is, go up to the top of your keyboard, find that data wheel, the dial with the fingerprint in it. Go to the right. There's three buttons that sit by themselves. And the first button is layer. The second button is split. Okay. So we're gonna go with layer first. We'll hit layer. And I have a piano, so it's probably layered, uh, it's gonna layer with that piano. So the first sound up here is, is our violin. That's what it picks by default. Okay. Um, <clears throat> for you, those of you that already know how to layer, just bear with me, okay? I'm gonna get to the safe part. <laughs> uh, here we go. So at the top here, when I take my cursors, up to the top and to the left. Okay, and your cursor buttons um, will be mentioned in those first two videos. Uh, I'll see if I can provide a couple of links for you on those uh, to get you there faster. Um, okay, so we're at the top. This is where you can pick the category. This is basically the same setup as category search. So, you, you, you pick which, uh, you know, category you want. And after you find the category you want, let's say like you want pads, okay? We'll go down. I went down one instead of to the right. Um, this is where you could pick the same, you know, same thing as in category search, where you can pick the, uh, you know, the type. So let's say we're on strings as an example. Okay, so back to strings. It picked the first sound in the strings, which is regular strings. Now you can pick the type of strings you want. You can pick solo, you can pick, you know, the uh, orchestra or, you, or whatever you need, right? So let's go back to our pads. Okay, we're here at pads. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right. Okay, so there's my pads there. 
right? So, uh, now, how would I save this? If I say like I wanted this uh, setting, okay? Um, what I do is I press store, okay? Then I um, make sure my cursor is at the top left, okay? Now, uh, when I was picking my uh, layers, by the way, to, to actually get to the spot, I'm gonna back up just for a second here. Um, um, when you're in layers, So, what I'm going to explain is, okay, first of all, you, when you pick your sound, you're in voice mode, right? Then you then you go to your layers and you pick your strings. I'm backing up because I want to make sure you understand something that's really important here. Um, this is set up like category search. And so, when you pick, we had a patch, right? I'm, I'm starting over again. Okay, we had pads. So, if you go to the right after your cursor's at the top left, and you go to the right, this is where you pick your, your sounds for your uh, layer, okay? So I have these pads here, and um, now this is where you can press store, you take your cursor to the top left, and this is um, important, okay? Uh, when you're saving your sound, <clears throat> where it goes is not to voice mode. It's going to go to your performance mode. Okay, and I haven't covered performance mode yet um, because I was still working on uh, getting the uh, sound design part of the uh, videos together. Okay, so, and I'm still working on that. So bear with me. I will be back on sound design. Um, now, this is going to go to the performance mode. So what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing as when you save sounds for your gigs, you know, your, uh, like in voice mode. But this is going to be done in performance mode now. So you're going to press uh, edit so you can hear where it's going to smoke, what location you're going to be uh, saving in. So you want to pick a location um, it's just like you have two user banks here, right? So you want to pick which user bank you want to um, save in. Then you take your cursor to the right one. Now you can pick the location in that user bank. And the thing is, you want to make sure... I'm not going to do it here because some of these I still want to experiment with. Uh, I don't spend a lot of time in my performance mode anymore. But um, So you want to pick a spot that you want to save it in. Then after you do that, you press enter. And remember, after pressing enter, you can press a key on the keyboard, and what will happen is it will um, be silent. There will be no sound. Okay, and this, this is good because what that, what that does is it, it, it's good for blind people because we, we need to know, hey, is it, is it executing or what's going on? So when you press, that, uh, pr press any key on the keyboard, well, after, after pressing the enter twice, um, it'll be silent. You won't hear any, any note, okay? So, um, after you pick your location, let's get back to, uh, the rest of this. Uh, so when you press edit again, you're back to your, your sound that you're going to save, okay? And that's, that's how you save your layers. All right, and that's, and remember, it's going to go to your performance, so make sure it's a performance that you're not still experimenting with or uh, don't mind erasing. Or another safe uh, thing you can do is back up your uh, files uh, to a thumb drive. And after you do that, um, you can go ahead and experiment all you want. Okay, so I'm going to hit exit and get back out of there. So what I'm going to do is to see how it's still playing the sound. As a blind user, we can't see the screen, what it's saying. I mean, we're probably 
somewhere where a sighted person will say, oh, I just have to do this. So what I do though, in this case, is I'm just gonna hit the voice mode. And it's back to my regular piano. So, let's go to splits. Splits are interesting. Um, you can, so here's the piano. And it has a bass on the other end. Unfortunately, I don't have the right uh, <clears throat> kind of speakers to set this up. Um, so you can hear the bass too, but that's okay because the it's the it's the uh, content that matters. So here we go. Going up to the left and to the right. I mean, up to, up to the top. I'm sorry, up to the left to the right. Go up. To, it sounds like a dance. Go up to the top and then go to the left here. Okay. Now, this is where, just like category search, I believe, you can pick your sound that you want to layer with. Okay, so here's a synth bass. So, uh, now I can go down and pick which type of sound I want to layer, um, no, I'm sorry, not layer, split with. So after we, uh, after we make our split here, okay, so let's, let's examine what else is here. So we ha uh, go down again with the cursor. Um, I don't see anything happening. Let's check the top. Okay, so now when you go down one, what you're doing is you're telling, uh, okay, so uh, underneath the, um, the spot where you can pick your patch, so you first you have the top is like category search. The next uh, click down from the top is not where you pick the type of, uh, you know, uh, do you want, remember we were on strings and you can pick uh, the, uh, solo violins, or you could pick, uh, an, you know, an, an ensemble, or, you know, for orchestra. This doesn't have that. Okay, so this, this has the category at the top, and right underneath that, you have the um, spot where you pick your patches. Okay. Okay, hang on. Let me fix that. That's not right. I just uh, discovered something. Okay, so check this out. So when you are at the top, you have all your categories. It is set up just like category search. Uh, here, I'll prove it. So go down one, and you have, now you can pick your, just like you could in category search, the type of violin you want with your your strings. Those are synth strings as an example. So you can still do that. So in order to pick, I'm going to go back to where we found that synth. In order to pick your patch, you'd still go to the right. And you pick all your, you, you pick which patch you want. Okay. So that, that's, 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 I, I need to correct that. So now let's go back to the left the cursor all the way to the top. Excuse me. So on the on the right, remember of your categories is where you pick your patches. Now go down twice from the top left, and what you have is a spot where you can pick what part of the keyboard is split. So in other words, if you want. Um, your middle C or your C below middle C um, to be played as piano then you definitely don't want your split to be on middle C so you put it one below put it on B so now you still have B all the way down to the last key of the keyboard okay now let's go down one more and let's
has hit uh, the scroll bar. Actually, let's go back up to splits real quick, uh, the, the spot where you split. Because I want to, let me see something here. Okay, so I want to make sure of something, and I was right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, when you're at the, t uh, the, the split area, if you're in the, uh, if you go to the screen, you, ha you have the row buttons right below the screen, SF1 through SF6, hold down SF6 uh, and press where you want the split to happen. I hit B flat below middle C. So my split will split at A. So B flat, it's gonna split, split at B flat, B flat. So the next note below, the next stair step down will be A, okay? So there you go for the split part. Now, go down one with the cursor and we'll move on. So here we are at um, the next spot. This is where you can flip it. You can flip your split. So now I have split the top of the keyboard. This is, was the bass. Now you have the piano down here, all the way down to the last note of the board. Okay? Now, I'm gonna flip it back the other way and, and you have the piano at the top of the game. Okay? Now, to save this, store. Take the cursor to the top to make sure you're at the top left edge of the screen. That's the up cursor, then use your left cursor to make sure you're at the top. And if you don't know where those are, <clears throat> the cursors are right underneath that uh, dial, uh, the data dial the, with the fingerprint. And the ones that are sticking out to the sides are the scroll left and scroll right as far as changing the screens, uh, uh, changing your value, okay? So that's yes and no also, all right? Coming down, uh, or you can say positive and negative. Okay, coming down is the up cursor between those uh between the yes uh, or the positive and the negative is the up cursor right underneath it is down cursor. Go up back up and you see the buttons, the following buttons on the sides again. Um, they're the left and right. Come down again, you have exit on the left and enter on the right. And there's one extra button next to exit on the left of exit and it's the shift button. Okay, so back to the video. We're in store. <clears throat> Gonna take the cursor up to the left, to the right. Uh, up to here we go. We're dancing again. Up to uh, the top left, and um, <laughs> and then um, what we'll what we'll do there is we're gonna press edit again, same as for uh, the layers. And here we are back over here at our user area, and this is where. You pick your, your user spot, that, which you, one or two, which user. Go to the right with your cursor, and now you can pick the location that you want to save your split. Remember to press enter twice, touch the key, uh, you know, press on the key after pressing enter twice if you're a blind user. So, because we can't see the message that it writes on the screen, so this will tell you that it's executing. Okay? I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna exit. All right. We are back to the beginning. So, I hope that helped you out. Um, if you like my videos, hit that like button and let YouTube know that you are liking my videos and want to see more more of them. Um, also, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't you won't uh, be left out when I upload a new video. Um, I'm also going to be 
doing videos on um, music as well. Um, I have a couple other ideas that I want to get launched. Um, but I will be back with more videos for you guys. Okay, stay healthy, stay safe, and God bless. Take picture, button, take picture, stop recording video, button.